my goodness. <laughs> Every single day, I feel like uh, something comes out that uh, makes our life as uh, storytellers like way better than it was, you know, like a couple weeks or day before. But today, again, guys, uh, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. Uh, right now, I'm in the Unreal Engine 5.3, and this is my MetaHuman I created using the MetaHuman Creator, and I also used the Scan 3D Store for the textures. So if I were to zoom in real quick. You can see the quality of the textures right there. And I also have uh, animation running right now. So this particular uniform is from das 3 d guys. So I'll show you the uniform here inside of uh, das 3 d And I have the uh, NVIDIA array so you can actually see what it looks like. And for the interest of uh, performance, let me turn it off just to show the texture shaded like that. But this uniform has different uh, levels of uh, textures. It has 4K textures, which are, are the ones that I'm using right now. And this was made possible by Meta Taylor. There's a new uh, platform that was released uh, recently, and it makes it possible for us to send uh, any kind of mesh that has uh, like clothing, uh, whether it's OBJ or FBX, and to wrap this on, on a MetaHuman. So I was able to export this particular MetaHuman from inside of uh, this uh, project. And I have another tutorial that walks you through the whole thing, but I just wanted to show you the quality that you're able to get that even though in MetaTailor, some of the material, the uniforms look like almost like game materials. So for example, here, uh, let's go back to design. And if you go to the content browser, you can see the different uh, like uniforms and clothing, masks, you, you name it, shirts and pants, skirts, you name it, right? But when you are previewing them, it looks like this. But don't, don't be all faint hard because now you can actually have high resolution <laughs> content. So this particular uh, uniform is uh, from the Atlas model. And this is in a Dust 3D. So what the reason I'm showing you this is because now, guys, you've been accumulating all this clothing from Dust 3D or even other places. It could even be from uh, uh, three, uh, maybe Turbo Squid. It could be any other platform that where you can find the the geometry. But especially for those of you who have like uh, Dust 3D content that you've been building over time, now you have an opportunity to take these uniforms and apply them to a meta human without having to cut the heads off, off of characters. This is like film quality. Look, I'm going to zoom in real close. Look at that. We're able, we're going to be able to get like really film quality geometry inside of our Unreal Engine projects and with our meta humans and you'll be able to do that. So right now this is in medium. So you can, you can see the cards, the haircuts over here. So let me zoom in a little bit. So you know how you're working in the MetaHuman Creator and you get the ability to turn on the different levels of uh, quality. So now this is medium, but watch what happens when I turn to Epic Ray Traced. See how the, the hair is nice and smooth. And now it's using uh, like uh, ray tracing over there. And I'm still able to talk. And over here, you can see the frame rates over to the right hand side. I left those on the screen so you get an idea of the performance. So, but it's amazing that we're able to get this level of quality because now if you're making a short film and you're trying to do like digital doubles, this is one way for you to be able to get this type of level of clothing and be able to use them. Look at the boots, you know, and the rigging looks nice and white, nicely done, like the weight mapping, you know, so what's really neat is that you see how the uniform is sitting on top of the pants right now. I can easily go back to Meta Taylor over here, right? Watch this. So the vest is on top of the pants, but I can take the, the shirt and put it under and Meta Taylor is able to reorganize everything, you know, and reorder and tuck the pants in like that. And then you're able to export this as a new outfit, right? And same thing with the boots, you know. This is one of my favorite features is that you can just reorder and it automatically puts it on top and then wraps it again nicely. Just like that. 
<laughs> and then you're able to export this as a new outfit as well and then import that and apply them so there's a tutorial again that guys that i've already put together that walks you through all this uh, process of uh sending the model from does 3d over here right exporting it going to file uh export and then sending the fbx you can do fbx or obj and I always remind you guys, it's another tip that I, I pointed out in that video, is that make sure that you browse to the textures, where the textures are, click one time and browse, and go to the original, where those uh, original maps were are. For example, the gloves are here, but you also have the 1K, 2K, and also 512. So for the other parts of the uniform, like for example, the vest, you have 4K materials, right? These are ex extremely, extremely amazing so anyway that's uh the uniform right here and the wardrobe is again organized according to these different parts and you export individual parts what i did for this particular uniform i combined the vest together with uh the so i did the vest and the sleeves together that's how i was able to get this over here you know and let me actually click on him and rotate around so you can actually see the different angles you know isn't that amazing that you get this level of quality so guys i highly highly recommend for you guys to check out meta taylor and if you have uh, any clothing from your dad's marketplace or library you'll be able to use them on a meta human without having to cut out the heads you know, this is amazing. And then you can actually act out a whole story. So you can imagine I have this uh, character talking and walking. So essentially, this could literally be a walking scene with a camera tracking two soldiers talking with each other. Maybe even it's uh, like uh, stormtroopers, right? So this guy could be talking as like uh, in uh, Star Wars. And then you are able to record it. But anyway, that, that's what I wanted to share with you. That guys, we are able to do high res resolution super high res textures inside of the Unreal Engine and you're able to get this kind of quality, right? And when you combine that with scan store textures, man, <laughs> what a time to be alive, guys, right? This is this is so, so cool. Um, I don't know if you guys are excited as I am, but I've been playing with this and I'm like, no, I have to share this with the community so you guys have a chance to check it out yourselves, you know, give it a try. You know, I can't wait to see the kind of stories that you make. I'm working on my third episode of uh, Nexus. And now I know I'm, I'm going to have better quality characters and I'll be able to do like facial animation and use the Unreal Engine to be able to do that. That's, that's amazing. Super, super exciting, guys. So, and here's the process. I'm going to do like a time, a quick time lapse right now in this section to show you the different parts that I went through as I was putting this uniform together from exporting it from uh, Dust 3D to bring it inside of a uh, meta tailor and then showing the how I'm like pausing rematch and all those things and how I would put the boots in, scale the boots. Even the even afterwards the boots seemed rather small. So I had to go back and rescale them after the fact. But that's what's amazing is that we were able to do all that and still be able to achieve like an awesome, awesome export. And to, for this is actually for it to be nicely automatically weighted so you don't have to wait now there are some issues that if you encounter any issues in the like for example the armpits over here i see some issues those you can go back and re, uh, move the let me go back i should make meta tailor over here and go to the clothing over here to the tools and you're able to actually in the pro version you're able to use these brushes right the grab brush so you just click one time and do sculpt like just give it a second and then when you do you just confirm and you can select the jacket itself go to the grab brush layered sculpt layered and then you can move things around like the ones if something is in the way just move it back like that and rotate around and move it back and be careful not to overlap over there so that's why you move it over here and then when you're ready confirm 
and it will it will go through metatel will go through and rewrap everything and then you can export because now it has fixed it's, when it's too close the weight mapping can get a little it have some issues but then that's how you fix it over here and then you're able to get like the character looking really really nice how about that <laughs> And if you're using like a mock-up suit, you can actually drive this using uh, like, for example, I'm using the Perception Neuron suit. Uh, if I had the suit on, I would have been able to drive this in real time, right? So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, again, uh, this is Salma Jagwe. If you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, guys, I'm praying for you and I encourage you to never give up on your dream. We are living in such an amazing time with all these tools that uh, make it possible for us to tell our stories and to create high resolution characters for real time and for film. That's amazing. You know, the real cool thing about the Unreal Engine is that here I am in real time. This is not rendered. This is in real time. So we're able to see everything the way it works would possibly look you know the lighting you know the sh and you're able to control like the different levels here and then for this particular part i'm using the lighting sample the it's a the meta human lighting room sample that is available uh, during, uh, using the launcher and you can download it for free and you're able to get these different light setups okay so it's amazing it's an amazing time to be alive as a, a 3D artist and animator. And it's a, a thank you so much to uh, the Meta Taylor team for continuing to work on this. I know it's, it's, it's in its early stages, but they're adding more and more features. And uh, to combine that with the Unreal Engine, you can imagine what this is 5.3, but as 5.4 comes out and we're able to do even better and better lighting, you know, lumen and you name it, we're going to be able to create amazing, amazing stories. So thank you guys for joining me. And uh, I I'm praying for you, wishing you the best on your journey, on your storytelling journey. Much love. Bye for now. If you're new to my channel, please kindly subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video like this one. And uh, as always, stay safe. Bye for now. Wow, wow, wow.